Hello yogis, hello Journey Junkie Tribe, and welcome to the Back to Yoga Basic Series. Today we are doing a beginner balance flow. It's just like it sounds, we'll be focusing on a lot of balancing type postures. If you are new to our tribe, make sure you click the link in the description below. Come join us, you'll get a lot of yogi, yoga freebies when you do. And then also for this practice, I am going to be using two blocks. If you have them, I recommend grabbing them and then unrolling your yoga mat and let's get started. All right, you're on your mat and you're standing on your mat and we are starting into Dasana Mountain Pose. So big toes together to touch, heels will splay out. From there, start to invite the energy from the ground beneath you up through your legs as you activate everything. Hug the core up and in, send the shoulders back, make space in the chest, hands down by your sides, close the eyes, breathe. Mountain pose is an incredibly strong posture, so it's a great space to cultivate what you need more of in your life. And as we breathe here, I invite you to set an intention or a goal or focus on something that you want to invite more of into your life. Five breaths here. This is your time. If your eyes are closed, go ahead and open them. Moving through low lunge sun salutations. Really focus on the breath here. Inhale the arms up. Exhale to forward fold. I like to bend my knees. Inhale to lift up halfway. Hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step the left foot far to the back of the mat. Soften the left knee down and then inhale to rise up. Low lunge pose, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, plant the hands back, curl the back toe under and step to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, step right foot to the back of the mat, soften the right knee down Inhale, lift up, low lunge. Big breaths here, yogis. Exhale, plant the hands, step to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up, halfway, flat back. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, left leg to the back. Soften the knee down on the same breath. Inhale, rise up, low lunge. Exhale, plant the hands, step to the top, same breath. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, right foot back. Inhale, lift up, lift that heart. Exhale, plant the hands, step to the top. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, left, actually right foot goes back. And then inhale up. Step to the top of the mat, plant hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step the left leg back, soften the knee down, and then inhale, rise up. This time we'll hold for three breaths. Fire up those inner thighs. Last breath. Exhale the left hand down inside the right foot 
and inhale the right arm high for an open arm twist. Reach through the right fingertips, spiral the heart open. Now listen carefully. Next inhale, we're going to push off this left hand, reach back through the right fingertips to come into reverse crescent on our knees. So here we go. Inhale, push the ground away. Right arm reaches back and we're in a reverse crescent. So we're facing the side of our mat. We're going to do this all the way lifted soon. One more inhale. Exhale to come back, left hand down, right arm high. This time option to go into a deeper variation. You can do exactly what we just did or curl the left toes under and lift the back leg for an open arm twist here. This is a runner's, runner's lunge variation. Breathing here. Here we go. On the inhale, push the ground away with the left hand, strong legs. Come up slowly, reach back with the right hand. Really hug the inner thighs together here as you send the body to the right. Core is engaged. Another inhale. Exhale, back down, windmill the hands down this time. Square up the body and step to the top of the mat with the left foot. Great work. I know that was a lot to take in. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step the right foot to the back of the mat. We'll repeat all that on the left side. So soften the knee down and inhale, rise. Lift that chest, three breaths here. And exhale the right hand down inside the left foot. This time the left arm sweeps high, open arm twist. Here we go. Inhale, push the earth away with the right hand and the left heel and reach back with the left hand. That crescent twist. So this is your first variation, right? You can come right back into this one. No need to do the full one. One more breath. Exhale, come back. Right hand comes down, left arm goes high. Option to curl right toes under and lift the back leg here. Alrighty, here we go. Inhale, push the ground away. Strong legs, strong core. Reach back with the left hand. Everything is working here. This is reverse crescent pose. Or maybe twisted crescent pose. One of the two. One more inhale. Exhale, windmill the hands down. Step to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Start to heel toe the feet to the outer edge of the mat. Toes are going to splay out, heels are going to splay in. And then shimmy your way all the way down into Malasana Yogi Squat. If, if you're new to the practice, this is a really hard pose. So my Solution is to bring a block right under your bum. And even if you're not new to the practice, this just feels good sometimes, especially for your first yogi squat, malasana pose. Bring the elbows inside the knees, hands come to prayer, and use your elbows to push the knees out as you lift through the chest. We're here for five breaths. Feel free to close the eyes. Draw yourself inward, connect to your breath. Last 
chest inhale. Bring hands to the ground. Start to lift the bum high, heel toe the feet together. Remove the block if you had it. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and fold. Listen carefully, we're coming into chair pose, Utkatasana. So bend the knees deeply, drop the hips, hug the belly in, and inhale to sweep the arms high. Chair pose. I like my feet touching, my big toes touching. Really fire up the inner thighs, make a lot of length on the front and back side body here. A lot of times you'll come into chair pose or see chair pose with the butt fully coming back and the belly dropping. We want to really lift up here, tuck the lower ribs in as we hug the hip points up. A lot of core and leg strength. Two more breaths. Another inhale. Exhale to drop the chest and reach the fingertips back. Energetically reach them back. Low bellies up and in. This is called airplane arms. Option to come up onto the balls of the feet, the tippy toes. And we'll hold for three. If you're on the toes, set them down. Inhale to rise all the way up. Reach through the fingertips, straight legs, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Mountain pose. Take three breaths. All right. Let's move into a few really great balancing postures, warrior three, tree pose, and then eagle pose. This is where you want to recruit your blocks. Put them on the tallest setting. And in warrior three, we are standing on one leg and then bringing the rest of the body into a T-like shape. So the torso and the back leg are working towards parallel with the earth, okay? You want the blocks a decent distance in front of you so that when you come down, your hands will rest atop the blocks like so on the tallest setting. So here we go, hands to hips to start. Make sure your hips are nice and square. It's gonna help once you're uh, balancing on one leg. So to hinge forward, nice bent knee to start. Hug the belly up and in, really activate like you're zipping up a jacket here. Keep squaring the hips and slowly begin to lift this back leg. Super slow. Start hinging forward and then bring the hands to the blocks. You can even spider your fingertips up onto the blocks and then push the ground away as you straighten the leg out. Continue to roll the left hip down so the pinky toe on the left side is coming towards the earth and then lengthen through the crown of the head. Really strong posture, really beautiful posture. One that's very common. Lift that back leg, use your hamstring and your glute, keep the core zipped up, and breathe. Two more breaths. Last inhale. Exhale to bend the knee, step the left foot down by the right, and come on up. How'd that feel? I hope it felt really strong and really stable. Okay, moving into tree pose. Remove the blocks just for a moment. And you have many options for tree pose, okay? So tree pose, you can start just like this. We're gonna go on the right foot again. You can bring the sole of the left foot onto the ankle, bring the left knee out, and just stand here like so. Babe, this would be a really good time to be panning. No, it's right there. Are you not gonna do anything? Where was I at? Like so. Okay. 
If you're comfortable here and you want to keep coming up, you can then bring this left sole, the sole of the left foot to the shin, the calf area, okay? Again, setting the left knee nice and wide. This is a hip opening posture. The right leg is rooting down into the earth here and we're lifting the chest. If you're feeling like you can go to the next level in Rikshasana tree pose, bring the left knee up, grab the outer edge of your left foot, and then place the sole of the foot into the thigh. So the tricky part here is you really have to strengthen the right leg and push foot into thigh, thigh into foot. It's a very active uh, connection. Again, send the left knee out, lift the hip points, lift the heart, hands can come to heart center, and gaze at a drishti point. So that's something that's not moving that you can lock eyes with so that you can maintain steadiness and stability and balance. We're here for three breaths. If you do tree regularly, begin to lift the arms up and send your arms wide like beautiful branches. One more inhale and exhale to slowly release and then wiggle and wag the legs. So just bending into the legs, releasing any tension and coming into Eagle Pose, Garudasana. So we're gonna stay all on the right leg, okay? So again, you have choices. And also this is where you might wanna use a block. So Eagle Pose, we bring all the weight into the right leg Hands can be here at the hips to start, and then we can just cross the left foot over and rest the left toes on the block here. We then inhale the arms out, and exhale the right arm underneath the left. The fronts of the hands can touch right here, or you can take the full bind with the hands, bringing the palms together. Once we have the arms, we keep the elbows lifted in line with the shoulders. If you know full eagle, get into it, okay? You can even take eagle crunches. So keeping the arms here, you can start to bend deeper into the right leg and wrap the left leg further here. All right, so now you're fully balancing on one leg. And if you wanna go further, start to wrap the top of the left foot around the back of the right leg. So this is full eagle pose Garudasana. We're here for three, core is active. We're hugging in to the midline with everything that we have, arms, belly, and legs, gazing at a drishti point. One more breath. And begin to release. It's a really difficult pose, so don't feel bad if you fell out of it. That's part of the yoga practice, lots of falling out. All right, moving on to the other side into our warrior three on the left leg. So set your blocks up again, hands to hips, left foot is forward. We square the hips off, right? Start to bend the left leg, slowly pick up the right leg. As you hinge forward, you're lifting the right leg, hands are coming to those blocks. You can spider up onto the fingertips or just push the palms in. But once you get there, Begin to straighten the left leg, roll the right hip down, active lifted leg, active core, energy from crown of the head all the way back to those toes, and you're breathing. One more breath. All right, bend the left leg, set the right foot down, stand on up, moving into tree pose on this side. So again, options. You're standing on the left leg, rooting strongly into the standing leg, hands at hips, and sole of the foot comes to the inside of the ankle. And you're here, and you are strong, and you are beautiful. Or you're moving the leg up to the calf or shin area. Again, feeling super strong, rooted, and beautiful. And lastly, if you want the full expression, you grab the shin on the right leg and pull the foot up into the thigh area. Again, find that thigh to sole of foot, sole to thigh connection. And once you get there, 
Stand up straight, hands at prayer. Find your drishti point. We're breathing for three. Option to lift your arms and branch out. Last inhale. And exhale the hands down through heart center. Release the leg. Maybe make some of those <laughs> movements with the hips coming into Eagle Pose. So if you want that block, set it up on the outside of the left foot. We step the right toes across and you can just hang out right here, okay? Do have a gentle bend in the left knee. Inhale the arms out. Exhale the left arm underneath the right. Again, you can take the half bind or you can take the full bind bringing the palms to touch. If you're feeling comfortable here, nice and balanced, strong, bend deeper into the left leg and hug the right knee on top. If you want the full bind, the sole, the top of the foot comes behind the right leg. Oh, left leg, sorry about that. And now breathe for three. Last breath. Alrighty, release, let go. Awesome work. Place the blocks off to the side. Find the top of your mat. Inhale the arms straight up to the sky. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale to step back to downward facing dog. We haven't done a downward facing dog yet. How crazy is that? Remember, wide fingertips push into the palms, activate the arms, roll upper arms out to make space for the neck. Send the hips high as you lengthen the spine and melt the chest back. And keep that nice bend in the knees. Last inhale. Exhale the knees down to the earth for tabletop pose. Move through three cat cows on your own breath. Last round. and meet me in neutral tabletop. Moving into pigeon pose, kapotasana, and I'm gonna show you a variation with two blocks that I love. Okay, starting on the left leg, so slide the left knee to the wrist, and then slide the top of the left foot towards the right wrist, and shimmy the right leg all the way back. So this is pigeon pose. It can be very intense if you're new to yoga. If you find that this left hip is nowhere near the ground, roll up or fold up a blanket and prop it under your butt, okay? All right, so I promised a really nice variation, but first, fingertips drive into the earth and lift your chest to find a stretch on the hip flexor of the right side. Breathe here. Last breath. And exhale to fold. I want you to put one block here straight to support your chest. And then one block can come in front of the head and you can rest your forehead down on the block. This is a really nice supported pigeon pose. We're here for five. Start to lift the chest, remove the blocks, and fall over onto your left side and swing the legs all the way around, coming into Pashimottanasana. So extend the legs out in front of you. I like to 
move my sitting bones to feel the ground beneath me, but you can do whatever feels right for you in that pot in that in this posture. First, let's work on a little strength. So nice strong legs, toes coming back towards the face, hands down by your sides, dandasana, push the ground away. Maybe you even lift the heels and breathe for three. Really active posture. And release some of that strength. Lift the arms high. Exhale to hinge. Send the pelvis back and forward fold. If this is really difficult for you, sit up on a blanket or a block. Also, if it's really hard for you to find your feet, take a strap or a towel around the balls of your feet and use that to find the connection. Three more breaths. Inhale to lift and release. Come back into tabletop pose, setting up for pigeon pose on this side. Moving into pigeon pose on the right side. So slide the right knee to the right wrist, bring the foot towards the left wrist, and then slide the left leg back. Okay, again, if you need a blanket to help you here, prop yourself up, no big deal. Alrighty, first and foremost, fingertips into the earth, lift the chest, find that hip flexor stretch on the left side. And now exhale to fold. If you wanna do my block trick, one block comes here for the chest to rest on, long ways, and then another block comes over here in front of you on whatever height you need to rest the forehead on. And we're here for five, so settle in. Last breath. Inhale to lift the gaze. Remove the blocks as you lift the chest. Fall onto your right hip this time. Swing the legs around. Coming into reverse tabletop. So soles of the feet on the ground, hip width distance. Knees are bent. Bring the hands behind you and the fingertips facing the mat, the front of the mat. Push the ground away, roll the shoulders back, and on an inhale, lift the hips. One more breath. Exhale, lower the bum. Take a moment and we'll go right back up. All right, inhale, drive into the heels, lift the hips. One more breath. Exhale, lower down. And this time we'll end today in a short seated meditation with some pranayama. So find a seated position on your mat. You might need a uh, prop to help you sit up tall. Really root down through the sitting bones, rise up through the spine, roll the shoulders back. Hands can rest on the thighs. You can take a mudra if you know one. Palms can rest up, whatever feels good in this moment. We will inhale for a count of three and exhale for a count of five. I will lead you through the first few rounds and then you're on your own. Here we go. Inhale for one, two, three. Exhale for five, four, 
three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Continue that breath. And once you feel like you're connected and quiet, release the breath and just relax and take this moment to integrate. Three more breaths. And this last one, take a big inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, release. Sweep the arms out to the side on an inhale. Gather up the energy we've created. Palms come to touch. Exhale, hands down through heart center. We close with an ohm. Big inhale. Om. Open those eyes. The light in me honors and deeply respects the light in you. Namaste, yogis. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat, for beginning this practice if you're new to it, and if you're not new, for continuing this practice. Remember, if you are not part of our online Journey Junkie tribe, please come join us. That link is in the description below. Until next time, we'll be meet you back here. Namaste, yogis. Whew, the mosquitoes, they're attacking me. They're attacking. How come the pool pump's not on?